Schools in Hollywood teach children lies about the environment. Humans are killing the planet, they say, but the planet is not alive. It is a large rock with a thin layer of water, air and dirt. A thin film of life exists on it too. If you shrunk the planet down to a sphere 2.4 meters or 7 feet 10 and a half inches wide, it would fit into your bedroom from floor to ceiling. See the math for this in the description below. If a person put their nose right up to the sphere, they wouldn't be able to see humans on its surface, even with a very powerful optical microscope. On that scale, humans would be 0.32 microns tall, which is a little bigger than a virus, and about 6.2 times smaller than an E. coli bacterium. The Earth's vegetation would just be a smudge. It would be like crouching on the top of Australia's Ayers Rock, or Uluru, in the wet season, looking at some green mould on its surface. Imagine how silly you'd look if you called a geologist to come see the destruction of this planet. You'd say, here, put your nose up against the surface, see any humans? No, the geologist would reply, not a soul. Well, they're there, you'd insist, and they're destroying the planet. Destroying it, he'd say, looking at the jewel-like earth. It looks fine to me. Well, um, you'd say, it might look fine, but it's dying. Dying, the geologist would laugh. It's not alive. It's a ball of dirt. Okay, well, it may not be alive, you'd admit, but uh, those microscopic things are destroying it. Come back when you can actually see some destruction, okay? The geologist would say, rolling his eyes and walking out. And please, don't disturb me again unless you have a real problem. So the truth is that our planet is perfectly fine. It can't die because it isn't a living organism. And as far as planets go, it is a beautiful, precious jewel. About as perfect as it could be for sustaining life. And whatever damage we virus-sized humans have done is so insignificant as to not even be worth mentioning. Sure, China needs to clean up its filthy factories, and ironically, the environmentalists don't mention that because most of them are communists. If you agree or disagree, please say why in the comments below. Well, that's my two cents worth. Talk to you again soon.